back in March 2019, me and my friends, Krasmir and Nazi, challenged ourselves to try and get as far away as possible from London in just 36 hours. But with one important condition. We can use our own money. And we made it to Europe. Watch to see how and where we ended up. Ah! And the black man is This is Spyro the Dragon. Look at that, guys. What is what is that? Like, it's a bit scary. It's a bit, it's a bit scary. I don't, know, I don't know if people actually want to approach me. Three, two, one, run! Let's do this, let's do this. Everyone has decided to go the opposite direction. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So we're not sure what to do at the moment. It's a bit of a... But we'll, we'll work it out as we go along. That's, that's the best way to do it. Oh, who's here? Look who's here. We have two options. Last year we fundraised money to get money for the flights. So this year, are we are we gonna do the same thing? Or are we gonna find a rich benefactor to help us get to Greece? I think we should try to get Eurostar to Paris yeah. and then, and then Greece. Because actually I okay. looked again and the London flights are like terrible. Ideal one is like the one I showed you. Is there none where, where which airports do they go to? It's from? just the main one, I think. Okay, let's go to St. Pancras. So basically guys, we're going to try and fundraise some money now for about an hour. Hello! Hello guys. Hey guys! We're trying to get as far away from London as possible within 36 hours. And we're wondering if you could spare like any money at all you have to help us out. Whatever you have, literally. Thank you so much, honestly. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. We decided to split up and try and fundraise the amount quicker. It's just gonna take too long if we go in a big group of three. Ah, oh, amazing, thank you. No, honestly, whatever you can spare. That's, That's amazing, you're a legend. Thank you so much. We managed to get a tenner and five euros. We're gonna meet at 10, and then I think we're gonna head to Heathrow to try and get a free flight or something like that. Don't know yet. We are the guys that should be traveling for free. Hi. Hi. Um, basically, we're doing a charity travel challenge and we're not allowed to spend any money. So we're trying to get to Heathrow and we're wondering if you could help us. Um, go. Yeah? Go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on? team is on the road. Let's go. Let's go. Um, basically, we've just come from King's Cross. Yeah. Um, we're doing a basically charity travel challenge. We're trying to get as far away from London as possible. Right. Um, we're in 36 hours without spending any money. Um, so we've been fundraising a whole week for charity called um, Vital for Children. And Which we have, station did you come from? Uh, King's Cross. Um, so we're wondering if you let us through, if you'd be so kind. We have a charity letter. Um, thank you so much. So um, basically we're doing a charity travel challenge um, and we have 36 hours to do well, so. We're not letting you out so you're not going to get far are you? Yeah, let me. I was actually very interesting. I thought you would be our best one. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite a relief. We almost got trapped at the barrier. I don't know what we'd have done. Nancy's drunk already and it's only like 11 a.m. I am drunk like water and fresh air. Yeah, there Can't believe we're at the airport without spending like yeah. one penny. And we have 100 pounds as well. Oh, come on, don't lie. We have like 98. Hello. Hi, I'm busy. Oh, okay. okay. So basically we wanted to um, explain that uh, we are three students and um, essentially we're trying to raise money for a charity called um, Vital. We're trying to get as far away from London as possible. So we just spoke to the guys at Air India and they were not too fond of the idea of giving out free flights. And obviously we don't have an Indian visa. I think it's what, 24 hours? 24 yeah. hours e-visa apparently. So the other airlines have basically said none of them are representatives of the airlines. They only work at the airport. So they're not able to actually help us with free tickets or anything like that. So a bit of a bit of a pickle right now. I don't know, I'm gonna, gonna try BA or 
Maybe we should go to Stansted and ask people. Stansted is like on the right here. What about Gatwick? Yeah, let's just go anywhere. Let's just say empty seats for... So we just spoke to the British Airways supervisor. She said speak to the ticket desk and they might be able to help us. So we tried to talk to BA and the customer relations department is closed. We're um, basically going to buy tickets to Zurich. We don't want the price to go up too much, so we're going to fundraise now. Investing our money, but we'll get it back. because we couldn't, uh, we couldn't get the free ticket from the airport staff because they, uh, what was the reason? Because it's not like, I don't know, legal or something. I think there's like no, you know, there's there no is a process or yeah. if we had to go to the charity department or whatever. <laughs> By the way, my voice is normally not like that. So there's, there's some process, um, so like for British Airways and like other airlines, many years ago, they were giving out these free tickets to people who did jailbreak and everyone was like super lucky managed to get to super far places that's not possible so we tried to go to the airport completely failed and had to pay for the flight to Zurich now so we've been fundraising how much like how much was it 152 pounds for the tickets so we've done that and we're gonna head to Zurich so let's see how that goes Hello everyone. I'm a freak. You're, you're actually joking, right? Okay. Made it to Zurich, guys. At the airport now. And we're gonna head off to the city centre. And then I don't know where we're gonna go to. Look, he's going for it, he's going for it. Boom. Boom. Whoa. Look how red he is. is it, he's just as red as his costume. <laughs> <laughs> Smile and wave. The dinosaurs have landed. <laughs> should we try and ask a taxi man? Should we ask, no, should we ask a train to... Like, okay, so there was one train which goes to half the yeah, battle. And like, that's the main thing in Zurich. Like, literally yeah, everything yeah. is within 20 minutes, right? Okay. From the main... Half battles, so we have to go to half battles. Yeah, let's, okay. So for that, we have to talk to like someone yeah. from the train station. So let's just go to the train station. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Guys, okay. I found my guy. Why are you like listening to me? I found What's that? the hottest guy on earth. Who's that? That guy with the jeans. You I, found the guy. I, I literally guy fall in love with him. How handsome can you get? <laughs> so we made it to the airport, and the next dilemma is how do we get from airport to the city centre. So we're gonna try and take a train and try and get like free tickets or get hitchhike but it's gonna be difficult. What? Did that just happen? So basically I wanted free tickets and the girl was like I can't give you free tickets but I can give you free chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I think the option now is the hitchhike. they help us? They were looking at us. I think they were like thinking about it. Apparently, the child Hello. Do you want to do this? Yeah, we want to go to Zurich, but basically the travel challenge is we can't spend any money. Can you speak German? Uh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is that meant here? Yeah, I... What is the owl? Where does Let's dance, let's dance, let's dance, let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> the dinosaurs are in Zurich. You know this muesli? The what, sorry? Their muesli is the prince. Like Swiss muesli. So it's 10.03 now. And we're basically just chilling. Just enjoying the sights. And not doing too much really. Eating. Hi guys. <laughs> so yeah, I think we'll um, 
the plan? Head to the club soon or something? <laughs> Hi. Can we talk to the receptionist for Palazzo Sorry? Can we talk to the receptionist? Yes, here I am. Oh, you are. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, how can I help you? Can you tell Yeah, so basically, like. We wanted to come and ask you like if you would be willing to help us in our like journey and like travel. Well, if you haven't got money, I can help you. You wouldn't be able to. So, uh, bus station, Krasimir and Nazli have to get a bus to Brussels because I think it's going to be cheaper to get back to London by flying. I am planning on staying here for a bit and seeing Switzerland. I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do. Hey guys, so it's daytime now in Zurich in Switzerland. I am planning to go to Amsterdam in a few hours, in six hours. I'm going to stay there and then I'm going to head back to London and this is going to be a montage of Zurich. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. 